y'all and welcome to another video in my service dog series. Today's video is talking about the differences and similarities between service dogs and therapy dogs. Now they sound very similar and the media gets it wrong a lot, so let me just jump into defining what these two types of working dogs do. Service dogs, if you haven't seen my other videos, are task trained to mitigate their handler's disabilities and they are considered medical equipment. Therapy dogs are considered pets who are very well trained to go provide comfort and support to people in different situations. So a therapy dog would be invited to nursing homes, schools, hospitals, things like that. And they're there to provide comfort to the patients or whomever is at that place. So the biggest similarities between these two types of working animals is that they have to be really well trained. Like I'm talking handling a lot of different environments well, handling a lot of people well, that kind of thing. There's a lot of training that goes into both of these dogs' jobs. Um, the big differences is what they do. So, like I said, service dogs are medical equipment. They help their one person with their disability. Therapy dogs, on the other hand, are there to comfort a lot of people, and usually not their handler. Um, so, they are pets who have been well-trained and show a good temperament around a lot of people. And like I said, they'll get invited to different places to provide comfort to people. So this means that they have different rights, and I keep stressing, one is medical equipment, one is a pet. So service dogs are allowed to go wherever with their disabled handler, because they're medical equipment, they're performing a job for their person. Therapy animals have to be invited to be in non-pet friendly places, um, like hospitals, for instance. Um, and they go through a lot of training to get to where they can be invited these places. The biggest thing here is that sometimes therapy animals have a certification or an ID card. Service animals do not. There is nationally no registry or ID card for service animals. And if anyone is telling you otherwise, they're lying. Um, so the um, the biggest difference is basically who they work for and what they do. Service dogs have tasks, whereas therapy animals provide comfort through their presence, which makes therapy animals a little bit more similar to emotional support animals than they are to service animals. Because both emotional support animals and therapy animals are there to provide comfort. They do it in different ways, in different environments, for different people, but they're both focused on providing comfort, bringing smiles, that kind of thing. And if you have any questions, as usual, drop a comment below, and I'll get to you when I can. Check out more of my videos in my Service Dog series coming up soon. Thanks!